Hey guys, welcome to Sim UK. This is Tower 3D Pro, and um, you may have seen my original review slash gameplay video. I actually made that quite a while ago, and um, at the time of making it, I was well on my way to having a terrible throat infection. That really impeded not only my the clarity of thought, but also the ability for the voice recognition system to actually understand what I was saying. I haven't played the game since then, since, well, for a number of reasons, but predominantly because I had some serious issues with uh, the pilot voices. Let me just give you an example here. Greetings, controller. Welcome to Tower 3D. Good day. Good day. Welcome to Tower 3D. Hello. Good day. Hello. Greetings, controller. Okay, so you can see there, there's a few different things. Now, what's actually happening there is that that is the default Microsoft uh, Windows 10 um, text-to-speech or TTS um, voices. There's two of them. I forget their names. Let's call them Bob and Barbara for, for the sake of it. That isn't what they're called, by the way. Now, I had numerous issues um, when I first set this up, and I installed a whole bunch of um, trial uh, voice recognition uh, text-to-speech type applications now in the original video i had lots of different voices like technically different voices coming through which made it feel pretty fresh and exciting and new and it was really quite good uh, in that sense but unfortunately because they were only um uh demo versions they ran out and what happened was that um i had a whole bunch of voices that were a whole bunch of voices that were no longer available to me or the game and that caused a whole bunch of issues. Now, I've managed to fix that. It took a long time to get to the, the crux of the problem and iron out all of the issues. I'm just using the default um, Microsoft 2 voices. So I have two voices, but because I have gender and tone set to random and speed, you can set that to random as well. Hello. Greetings, controller. Good day. Hello. Good day. Good day. Good day. And that just gives you that kind of gives you the effect, if you will, of uh, different pilots. Now, what I believe happens here with Tower 3D Pro, which is quite a good feature actually, is that for each aircraft, it will pick a gender, a tone, and a speed, and it will retain that until that aircraft is gone. So you won't get random gender, tone, speed uh, for each individual statement. Each individual in each individual aircraft will have their own effectively their own voice and sounding speech tone etc which is pretty good actually so with just two voices a male, a male and a female you can effectively create this theoretical experience of having multiple different pilots on board at the same time now i'm not going to go into the details about how i fixed everything and the issues that i overcame etc etc in this video if you're having issues let me know and uh, i'll happily make a tutorial to guide you through all of that complexity it's quite quite an annoying process it took me a long time to straighten this out which is why it's taken me so long to uh to finally get up and uh, play again so hopefully today i'm going to produce for you a decent bit of gameplay and uh really show you what this game can do now you'll notice that um i have this airport here this is the dlc atlanta airport there's three dlcs available san diego and new york uh that's kennedy international obviously if you know anything about anything so i'm just sticking with the three default and uh st thomas is basically this is the one i did the tutorial on or the the review on if you will i'm going to stick with this for now and i'm going to call this the beginner's um example and i'm, I'm going to try and show you some capability that this game has got in terms of voice recognition and how you can sort of uh, chain events together and get quite complex um calls out to the pilots i tried to do that in the original video but like i say i wasn't very well so the voice recognition wasn't working well my brain was all fuzzy and it wasn't good i i haven't played this game since i made that review so we're talking months now months and months and months and months so i'm going to be rusty i'm going to be i'm going to make mistakes but uh we should fight our way through it the other thing i did in that uh, review was i had random weather on now that adds a whole a whole different level of complexity to ATC control. Um, and I wasn't ready for that at all. So that was a terrible idea. So we're going to stick with clear today. I'm going to start at, yeah, start at 2. That seems like a good idea. We'll start at 2 o'clock. And we'll just see. 
100% traffic density and we'll just see if I can make my way through the day. I'll start off nice and simple and then as I grow in confidence we'll start chucking in some more complex stuff. If I even make it that far, uh, I'm, I'm not even going to say that I am. So I'm going to reset my statistics um, uh, to absolutely zero and um, see if we can't do a decent job for you today. St. Thomas Tower, value 788 requesting push and start. Value 788 push back, approved, expect runway 28. Now you Ground. can see how quickly that picked up. Push back approved. You can value see how slow he's speaking as well. Uh, that's because I set the, the tempo to random. So, the <laughs> interestingly, the first one up is super slow. Now... I'm going to play this in real time. That's going to give me a bit of uh, an avenue to talk to you um, about the game, the complexity, just some stuff that pops into my head as I play. There's an issue around the shift holding down. You have to hold down the shift button to speak in the manual itself. St. Thomas Ground. Excuse me. Value 788 ready to taxi. Value 788 runway 28 taxi via Charlie Alpha. Runway 28 taxi via Charlie Alpha value 788. So you can see there, that works pretty well. Um, so, <laughs> the aircraft in the default game, which we're playing with today, are not official aircraft. So you've got a whole bunch of airline call signs, a whole bunch of ICAO compliant phonic codes that you've got to learn. Um... So it's quite complex. It's difficult to absorb all of this information in. Even if you're an ATC um, operative, you're going to struggle with this a tad. For one reason, the airline call signs are made up. Let me give you an example here. Um, let me see. Um, Well, I don't know, actually, any of them. Um, Gold Sun is actually Gold Sun Air Asia. St. Thomas Tower. Excuse Magic me. 8541 requesting push and start. Magic 8541 push back approved. Expect runway 28. Now, hopefully they're not going to get in the way of each other. But it's okay if Magic they do. No, they won't because Magic, Magic's at the back there. That's fine. No problems there whatsoever. No problems there whatsoever. So even if you're an official ATC uh, operative, you're going to have to learn these new call signs, plus you're going to have to learn the departure and arrivals phonic pronunciation. You say Magic certain eight, things five, four, in a certain order. Taxi. You'll see that when I speak to the pilots, I don't necessarily speak to them as you would if you were a real ATC operative. Magic 8541, runway 28, taxi via Charlie Alpha. Runway 28 taxi via Charlie Alpha Magic 8541. Now it's pretty easy going at the moment, it's not too busy, um, but things can get incredibly busy. I mean, you can see we've got quite a few aircraft there, and um, we've got some refueling trucks, I think. Yeah, so I mean, these aircraft are all going to be coming out pretty soon. So we're, we're going to be dealing with, okay, we've only got one runway to deal with today. But we're going to be dealing with anything up to, say, 15, 20 aircraft, all at the same time. The taxiways are not complex here. That's why this is the beginner um, uh, airport. And I have to say, as, as far as the game goes, graphically, it's not going to blow your mind. Uh, that's the first thing I, I noticed when I saw it. It really doesn't blow your mind. But I tell you what with the voice recognition it's absolutely fantastic and the voice recognition works pretty darn well and i think they've even up updated it there's been an update now we're on version 2 and i believe version 2 is slightly more effective in terms of uh, voice capture capability uh, which is good value 788 runway 28 clear for takeoff 
Runway 28 cleared for takeoff value 78A. You can see he's retained that really slow speech because that's the way he speaks, which is perfect because that helps you identify which aircraft you're talking to or which aircraft is talking to you. So it's a good thing. Um, one thing you'll notice me doing is when I press down the shift button, you should hear a little blip blip kind of sound. Um, when you let go of it, that's it stops listening to you then, whether it's picked you up or not. And in the top left hand corner here where the command panel is, you'll see that your speech is interpreted into text and that is what's past the um, pilot effectively. So just look up here when you speak and make sure A that it's understood you, B that uh, it's completely filled out the line before you let go of the shift key, uh, otherwise you'll be having serious problems with that. So this is our first ever takeoff, well our first takeoff today let's say, our first ever takeoff with this profile and uh, that's gone pretty swimmingly. The only thing you need to remember to do once this aircraft has taken off is uh, hand it over to departure so that it's no longer on your radar and effectively no longer your problem. Now there are incredibly complex um, St. Thomas Tower. We've got an incoming Lakes now. Three, five, two, eight with you runway two eight. Lakes 3528, runway 28, cleared to land. Runway 28, cleared to land, Lakes 3528. Now, if you hear that whoa, 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 whoa noise coming in, that is um, an issue that I still haven't solved. I am working on that. Let me just get rid of value 788 and I'll explain to you what else you can do with the departure here. Value 788, contact departure. Roger, good day. Now, I've no idea what's causing that, but, um, yeah, like I said, I've been having a lot of problems. I, I wasn't getting any speech from uh, from aircraft pilots at all. Let me just uh, handle Magic 8541. I could probably get him to take off, but I want to show you how complex some of your commands can be. And this is a very early um, example of, of how complex the commands can be, but there's a lot you can do. Um, so let me just call this in magic 8541 runway 28 line up and wait behind next landing aircraft runway 28 line up and wait behind next landing aircraft magic 8541 now what you'll see is uh, when lakes 3528 there we go uh, lands then uh, magic 8541 will automatically line up on runway 28 which is a good thing because uh, if you saw my score in the review, you could see it was like thousand, minus 10,000 points or something crazy like that. Now, the important thing with that is that um, if you do it the way I've just done it, then the air aircraft will come onto the runway and, it, and you won't lose points because that's where I lost so many points is I was trying to line aircraft up behind landing aircraft and I was doing it too quickly and uh, it costs you so many points. So learning little tricks like that um, so that it becomes automated is, is far better. Now I've got to be honest here with you, uh, Lakes 3528 is taking a long time to come in so I'm going to get rid of Magic right now. Magic 8541, runway 28, cleared for takeoff. Runway 28 cleared for takeoff, Magic 8541. Now, technically, I mean, this game is in depth in, in the sense that um, it takes into consideration different weights of aircraft. And depending on the weight of the aircraft depends how close you're allowed to have an aircraft take off after another. So... For example, a little Cessna 172 is not going to fly as fast as a Boeing 747. So if, you, if you've if you got a, a Cessna taking off before a Boeing, because of the weight differentials between the two, there are official statistics which deem how closely they can take off from each other. And you will lose points if you don't get that right. So, I mean, there's an awful lot to take into consideration. There's a lot of people playing this game at the moment. It's All of a sudden it's become pretty popular, which is why a lot of you have been uh, leaving comments for me, which has kind of reminded me 
about how much I like this game and giving me the incentive to go and fix all of the problems that I've had. But a lot of people are playing this game without that level of complexity involved in their gameplay. And it's because it's bloody hard. It is bloody hard to do that. What's that, a dash eight? Looks like a dash eight to me. I could be totally wrong. Correct me in the comment section, by all means. So we'll just get rid of him. Magic 8541, contact departure. Say again. See, I, I let go of the shift key too quickly there. Magic 8541, contact departure. Roger, good day. So that's the one thing you do have to do. You do have to keep an eye on the command panel. Lakes 3528. There we go, just so we get focused. Now this thing up here, this Fose thing, I mentioned this in the review. If you click on that and just leave that highlighted, so when it's white, it's highlighted. If something important happens, it will automatically spin the camera to that event. So as the Lakes aircraft comes into land, it will switch to it. Uh, and that'll be it. Incidentally, down here on the D bright, if you've got a T without any uh, aircraft statistics involved, then uh, that indicates that you have passed that aircraft off to departure. So it's no longer on your radar, no longer your responsibility, effectively. That being said, if you send an aircraft up that's going twice as fast as this one, um, I guess, uh, technically, I guess, uh, you'd lose points if you sent it too early uh, because they might collide because of the speed differences. But if you handed both off before they collided, then technically, if they did collide, it wasn't your fault. Although I think they might come back and, in real life and find you highly responsible for that collision. Um, more than likely. Now it's going pretty, pretty slowly at the moment, which is good because it allows me to uh, describe to you guys a little bit about the kind of things you can do. So um, actually in front of me, I've got three sheets of information, which I'm just quickly going to swap around. So I've got them back to front here. One second. Okay, that makes me much happier. So I've got arrivals on the left and departures on the right, which kind of makes more sense. Now, the problem I discovered last night when I was testing this, when I finally got this to work again, uh, here comes lakes into land. There we go. Lakes 3528, take next available exit on left. Now I needn't have done that because I think he'd have turned there anyway. But this is where it get, this on this particular airport, this is where it gets complex. Because if you've got aircraft coming out of the gate and aircraft trying to cross to get into the gate, they will get stuck. And there's, there's no way that I can see of unfixing, of unbreaking that problem, if that makes sense. Put that into English, if you so wish. Now you can see that aircraft has completely stopped. Lakes 3528, continue taxi to gate. Continue taxi, Lakes 3528. Now, I think it pulls that out, actually, because I wanted to send it into gate... Lakes 3528, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal, Lakes 3528. Okay. For some reason, I thought the term was gate. It's not. It's terminal, ramp, or apron. Um, I'd be lying if I said I knew exactly what the difference was. Which is a tad interesting. A tad interesting. 
Okay. Now, what might be useful for me is if I have aircraft uh, coming in. Oh my goodness! How did I switch to this view? I must be because we're on the camera. It might be interesting if I have aircraft coming down to the end of the runway and then taxiing down Alpha. That would give me a better queue situation for getting it into the terminal. And you can see if one of these aircraft had already backed out, um, they'd be effectively facing each other. And I, I, I honestly don't know how to unbreak that problem. I did a little test last night. St. Thomas Tower. I did a test last night and ran into that exact problem um, and uh, I, I couldn't figure out how to fix it. Denali 1647 pushback approved, expect runway 28. Now you can see there that I actually tripped and stumbled over my words, which unfortunately is something I do quite often. But the game is actually really quite smart in the sense that it was able to interpret what I was trying to say and even when you use incorrect terminology it still manages to uh, figure out what you're trying to say and accurately um, pass that information over to the pilot which I think is really quite impressive um, if you watch many of my videos on this game which I'm hoping to make a few you'll see that I stumble and trip and get stuff back to front all the time and quite often the uh, the game itself will correct me and make everything work well which is awesome St. Thomas ground Denali 1647 ready to taxi. Denali 1647 runway 28 via taxi via Alpha. So I don't think that went through. I, I, I got all confused with myself there. I don't even need to say taxi, so I'll just say uh, Denali 1647 continue taxi. Continue taxi Denali 1647. Because uh, 1647 already knows that they're going to runway 28. They know that they're on taxiway Alpha and there is no other way of getting to 28 uh, from here. So it's no big deal. You could try some more complex stuff. You could have them pull out at Echo and uh, take off partway down runway 28. I've never tried that myself. Technically, I guess that's a possibility, but uh, I don't want to push it too much too soon because, like I say, I haven't played for seven months and I'm kind of making things a bit more difficult by trying to talk to you about stuff at the same time. So, yeah, you've got an awful lot of controls. You've got, let's see, for departures, you've got uh, initially you'll do the pushback, you'll do the runway, you'll do the cleared four. You'll do the line up and wait. You've got continue taxi. You've got hold position. Follow company, which is a nice move. So if you've got two aircraft that are heading to runway 28 and you've got a complex set of uh, taxiways for them to follow in order to keep congestion to an absolute minimum, you can just ask one aircraft to follow the one in front, which I think is a great feature and uh, a good example of how clever this game actually is. Uh, contact departure, obviously you hand off massive fines if you forget to do that uh, call sign contact departure um, yeah and you can have aircraft taken off and turn to particular headings and so on and so forth again that's a bit technical for me I'm not really ready for that but uh, hopefully I'm going to work my way towards it um, you can also get reports back from uh, from aircraft um, so I'm not sure if this will work, but we'll try. St. Thomas Tower, Denali 868 requesting push and start. I'll try and remember to do that on the next aircraft that comes into land. But this is just a beginner tutorial just to introduce you guys to, to what's going on, really. Denali 868, pushback approved, expect runway 28. Ground. And you can see I'm, I'm actually speaking at a reasonable approved. pace. I'm not slowing Denali it down. The only thing I have to do is hold the shift key down for a long period of time. Now, I think personally they could automate that um, and you wouldn't need to do it yourself. But, you know, there you go. Denali 1647, runway 28 cleared for takeoff. Runway 28 cleared for takeoff, Denali 1647. Now, this isn't overly busy. It does get busy. St. Thomas ground. Denali 868 ready to taxi. Denali 868 continue taxi. Continue taxi Denali 868. And you will get dry mouthed on this. So I'm just going to take a quick drink.
much better. Now, the setup that I have here, if you've seen my review, um, you'll know that you can move the D-Bright onto a third screen or a second screen. You can move the strip, the ADIRS. You can move everything onto separate screens, um, even this, even the command panel, I think. That's the camera effect, by the way. Jumps in on the Denali aircraft, eventually gets focus, and we can, uh, we'll never miss something interesting, which is kind of cool. But uh, to be honest with you, when things get busy, uh, you tend not to want to be distracted by things like that. Let me just try this. Denali 868, runway 28, taxi via Alpha Echo. Runway 28, taxi via Alpha Echo, Denali 868. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to work. Thomas Tower. A total, total Fox test. Tango requesting that is push a complete test. Uh, N, what's N? St. Thomas Tower, Denali 867 with you, runway 28. Denali 867, runway 28, clear for landing. Runway 28, cleared to land, Denali 867. Now, I got distracted there because I'm trying to figure out what this aircraft is. Pushback approved, expect runway 28. No, it's not going to work. What is the... I can't remember what to call this one. The N564. So we're just going to say runway 28. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. We're going to clear that. We're going to say U pushback approved 28. Ground 28 pushback approved. 64 Fox Tango. St. Thomas Tower. Okay, it's all Leslie going on now. It suddenly got busy, so let me start. just focus on what I've got to do here. Denali 1647, contact departure. Roger, good day. Denali 868, runway 28 cleared for takeoff. Runway 28 cleared for takeoff, Denali 868. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to take Thomas off from ground. the echo point. I think. Fox Tango ready to taxi. I think what he's looking at there is that um, he's going to go across uh, the runway in order to come back down here. So I'm going to have to give him permission to proceed. Denali 868, continue taxi. Continue taxi, Denali 868. You can see it's just over there. We've got this Denali coming in, so these two are going to get a bit close. Uh, what's tab? Tab would be Globe 196, pushback approved. Expect runway 28. Ground 28, pushback approved. And uh, we'll Leslie just... 196. We'll get all of these ready. Hopefully, he'll get in the way of the Denali 868, and that will. Uh, That'll slow things down a tad. Now, the only thing I'll say that might benefit you is having the strip the full length of your screen because you do get quite a lot of aircraft on here. So what I might do is just detach the ADIRS or should I detach the D-Bright? St. Thomas Ground, Leslie 196 ready to taxi. Leslie 196... Continue taxi. Continue taxi, Leslie 196. Don't even remember speaking to that aircraft. I'm getting completely distracted now. Now, the ADIRS is probably something you like to see so that you've got an idea of what's going on with everything. I think these two are going to be fine, actually. The 868 is going to leave way before Denali 867 arrives. That's been handed off to um, departure, so that's good. So what I might do is just move the D-Bright. And that didn't go as I expected.
There goes Denali 868. So something like that. Now I've lost the ADI uh, No, I've lost the uh, the D bright, which is quite a serious problem. I'm going to turn this off because it's really distracting me. Really not helping me, and the fact that I've lost the D bright is pretty bad as well. Denali eight six eight contact departure. Roger. Good day. So I haven't got the D bright. This is weird that it's stuck to this screen. And I don't know how to get it back off this screen. That is a problem. Okay, maybe I can close that window. Go away. Uh, right, where are we at? St. Thomas Tower, Denali 1482 requesting push and start. Bring the D bright back up here for a second. So 867 is fairly close, but I think we can get this plane out here. So cleared for takeoff, go. Runway 28 cleared for takeoff, 64 Fox Tango. Denali 867. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Ignore my last. Denali 1482, pushback approved, expect runway 28. Ground, 28 pushback approved. Denali 1482. Leslie 196, runway 28, line up and wait behind next landing aircraft. Runway 28, line up and wait behind next landing aircraft, Leslie 196. Okay, so that should Saint all Thomas be... Ground. Denali 1482, ready to taxi. Denali 1482, continue taxi. Say again. Denali 1482, continue taxi. Continue taxi, Denali 1482. Though you can see she's speaking really quite fast uh, in comparison to the first few pilots that we had. Um, it's interesting that I can't seem to drag this off onto a second screen. I'm not entirely sure why that is. I'm going to have to check the manual in order, in order to figure that out. So for now, we're just going to stick with what we have. Maybe minimise the size of these... Uh, for the time being and uh, just sort of cope with it in that sense I think we'll be absolutely fine with the information that we have here uh, so we'll click on this bad boy uh, because I can't remember what this call sign is I'm just going to use the mouse to uh Roger good day to deal with that and get rid of them right so denali 867 is coming into land but we could theoretically get uh leslie 196 out before he lands i'm just a bit tentative about how close uh i'm allowing these aircraft to leave at present might be a good idea just to slow things down a bit get control of what's going on and then maybe i can um explain to you a little bit more about what's going on now one thing that's happened here which is a bit daft of me um, like I say I do have three sheets of information uh, in front of me I have my departure call signs I have my arrival call signs I have my ICAA compliant phonic codes and my airline call signs on another sheet as well now this is all very very useful stuff um, but where I just swapped arrivals and departures around, I've now completely confused myself because I'm looking at arrivals when I want to do departure stuff and so on and so forth. So that was silly that I swapped that halfway through the video. It's just made life more difficult for me, but there you go. I'll deal with that and you can all have a good chuckle at my expense. That's not a problem. 
Denali 867. So nobody's crashed. Everybody's taken off on time. This is all good, groovy, groovy stuff. But we started at two, so we've and this was running in real time. So we've effectively had 20 minutes of uh, of ATC time uh, as part of this game. Now you can speed things up, and the beauty of speeding things up is that, that it makes a nice, quiet beginner airport like this incredibly intense. I mean, unbelievably intense, like you were at Heathrow, kind of intense. And it's kind of interesting, actually, that um, Phil there, the, the developers and uh, producers of this game, have released um, all American airports. I'd have thought Heathrow would be one of the big first ones to, uh, to chuck in, but so far, no Heathrow. Now, I don't know if that's because they don't have permission to use Heathrow or whatever, I wouldn't have thought that would be the problem, but, uh, you know, maybe it is. Who knows? But anyway, let's, okay, let's uh, let's speed things up a tad, because I am effectively a beginner, um, not just in terms of being an ATC operative, but also in using this game. Um, it's a very, very complex, very, very complex game, and there's a lot you can do. There's an awful lot you can do for arrivals. For example, you can uh, you can allow touch and goes. Uh, you can have um, low approaches. You can have stop and goes. Um, you get all sorts of requests coming in, and obviously you need to deal with each one appropriately. Can't remember what that is. We need to get this guy off. And uh, parked up. Denali 867. Taxi to... Terminal. Bugger. Denali 867. Taxi to Terminal. Taxi to Terminal Denali 867. So, yeah, he should be on his way. Going parking up and... Uh, Leslie196 is already lined up, so we'll just get rid of... Uh, actually, I think I've given him clearance, have I not? Maybe I haven't. Leslie196, runway 28, clear for takeoff. Runway 28, cleared for takeoff, Leslie196. There we go. Denali1482, runway 28, line up and wait. Runway 28, line up and wait, Denali 1482. So you can see that just by having two voices uh, all set to random, it does kind of give you the impression that you're talking to multiple different pilots, which I think is really an impressive uh, feature <laughs> once you get it working, that is, of course. Leslie 196, contact departure. Roger, good day. Denali 1482, runway 28, cleared for takeoff. Runway 28 cleared for takeoff, Denali 1482. Now I've deliberately sent that out reasonably close to the aircraft that just took off, the Leslie 182, um, because I want to know if I'm going to get penalised for it. Now, it may be that they're far enough apart and it's not an issue. But we'll see. We shall see. Denali 1482, contact departure. Roger, good day. Was it just me or did that aircraft just flip to the left and then straighten back out again? I'm not entirely sure if that happened or not. Right, so that's it. I mean, the airport isn't clear, but uh, certainly nobody is uh, is um, requesting any sort of ATC support at the moment. We're running at double time, so let's just up that to four times. That's a, actually, that's, a 30, that's 34 minutes of video um, gameplay footage. I think for a beginner's uh, introduction to the game, that's probably enough. Um, St. Thomas Tower. 
Denali 817 with you, runway 28. We'll try and get this guy in and then uh, and then we'll probably wrap it up. Denali 817, runway 28, cleared to land. Runway 28 cleared to land, Denali 817. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope as a beginner's uh, game play tutorial guide introduction whatever the heck you want to call this um it's going to benefit you a tad and i'll up the intensity and the complexity uh with each gameplay video i learn I, I, I learn well i guess i'm learning as i'm playing as well so each video that i release will become more complex and more intense uh, we'll have random weather eventually i think that's going to be going to be one of the most complex um Introdu introductions to the game because it it will affect which runway you have active and oh my word all sorts of things so um yeah let me know in the comments section if this has been helpful to you if i've got anything wrong just let me know be nice about it i'm a nice guy um i'm not pretending to be a master at this game i'm just trying to get a video out there for you guys who are maybe looking at this and thinking oh i don't know if i want to invest that much money in this game i don't know if i'm going to get that much out of it i don't know if it's going to be as realistic as i want it to be i don't know what you're thinking but hopefully this gameplay video footage will in some way saint uh, thomas Tower. help you make Magic eight one that nine decision one runway two eight yeah, they just keep coming don't they they just keep coming Magic 8191, runway 28, clear to land. Runway 28, clear <coughs> to land, Magic 8191. Now what I'd like to do is um, figure out how to get... Uh, la, 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 la. How to get an aircraft to come in and land and taxi right down to the end of the runway and then turn off. That would be an important feature for this particular map. Uh, maybe less important for aircraft, uh, for airports rather, with multiple taxiways. But there's, I mean, there is so much to cover in this that it is going to come in dribs and drabs and bits and bobs. Looks like that Magic 8191 is coming in really fast. St. Thomas Tower, 860 Quebec Sierra with you, runway 28. There's a considerable speed consideration there. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let this run out because I'm interested to see how that's going to work. Denali 817, taxi to terminal. Taxi just, to terminal, Denali just, just wanted to get him off the runway ASAFP, to be quite honest with you. So that's him gone. Magic 8191. Now you can see how close those two were. He's coming into land right now. The difference in speed. Phenomenal. So he's going to go, whoa. Well, I wasn't expecting him to turn there. That's that's pretty aggressive. He should have gone to the end of the runway, really. Magic 8191, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal, Magic 8191. I'm also not sure what happens if... Um, if you have more aircraft than you have uh, gates to send them to, could be interesting. Uh, I never remember what the call sign for these are. Clear to land runway 28. Runway 28 cleared to land 860 Quebec Sierra. Ah, 860 Quebec Sierra. So anything with an N in front of it doesn't have uh, an airline call sign, which is interesting. That's probably why I couldn't find it on my sheet. That would make sense. Let's just test that a second. 860 Quebec Sierra. Okay. Well, there you go. There's a final lesson for today, and I've learned something. I actually remember that from the last time I played, which was months ago. But, uh, yeah, that things like that are sort of quirky things you've got to learn about this game that take time and research, or maybe watching videos like this, and picking up on little hints and tips along the way. So when this plane lands, hopefully we'll have a quiet spell, and I can call that a day, and this will be the end of this video. And um, like I say, I hope it helps you guys out. Um, 
and I hope in some way that it encourages you Saint or Thomas discourages Howard. you from getting this Leslie game. Leslie Niner 43 requesting push and start. My God, sounds like she's been drinking. Leslie 943 pushback approved expects runway 28. There may Ground. not be any quiet Two time here. Pushback approved. Leslie Niner 43. Wow. St. Thomas Tower. That is Magic slow. Oh, yeah. Do you know, I just start. remembered. I forgot there was... We've got gates down here as well, which is interesting. Um, so what are we doing here? St. Thomas Ground. Leslie Niner 43 ready to taxi. Yep. Leslie 943 continue taxi. Continue taxi Leslie Niner 43. Magic 8201. Pushback approved. Expect runway 28. St. Thomas Tower. Magic 8531 with you runway 28. 860 Quebec Sierra. Taxi to terminal. Ground. 28 pushback approved. Magic 85201. Eight, God damn it. Magic 8531, runway 28, cleared to land. Taxi to terminal 860, Quebec Sierra. Now we're playing at four runway times speed. To land. Magic it's eight, really, five, three, it's one. really upped the tempo of everything. St. Thomas Ground. Magic 8201, ready to taxi. Oh my goodness me, they are talking Saint Thomas Tower. very slowly. Leslie 674, requesting push and start. Yes, I know you are. Leslie 674, pushback approved, expect runway 28. Ground, 28, pushback approved. Come on. quicker Leslie than that, please. 674. Leslie 943, runway 28, line up and wait after next landing aircraft. Runway 28, line up and wait behind next landing aircraft, Leslie Niner 43. Goodness me, she's slow. St. Thomas Ground. Oh. Leslie 674, ready to taxi. Magic 8201, continue taxi. Continue taxi, Magic 8201. Leslie 674, continue taxi. Continue taxi, Leslie 674. Now I'm going to get this aircraft out uh, before I send this one in because la last time I played, that's when we had an issue. Leslie 943, runway 28, cleared to take off. No, Negative. that's wrong. Leslie Niner 43. St. Thomas Tower, Field Air 212, <coughs> runway 28. We'll get there in a minute. Leslie 943, runway 28, cleared for takeoff. Runway 28, cleared for takeoff, Leslie Niner 43. Magic 8531, continue taxi to terminal. Continue taxi, Magic 8531. Got that completely wrong. Magic 8531, taxi to terminal. Taxi to Terminal Magic 8531. Magic. Uh, what's next on the runway, I guess? Leslie 943. Contact departure. Oh, missed it. Leslie 943. Contact departure. Roger. Good day. What's FRT? Field Air 212, runway 28, cleared to land. Runway 28, cleared to land, Field Air 212. Magic 8201, runway 28, cleared for takeoff. Runway 28, cleared for takeoff, Magic 8201. Leslie 674, runway 28, line up and wait after next landing aircraft. Runway 28, line up and wait behind next landing aircraft, Leslie 674. So a bit of high-paced extra uh, footage for you there, guys, that I wasn't expecting to include in the game, but um, in the video, rather. Magic 8201, contact departure. Roger. 
Good day. I'm going to turn that uh, camera off because it's actually getting on my nerves. <laughs> Finding it really distracting. So we get this filled air aircraft in and we'll get the uh, Leslie Stay 674. Oh my goodness Value me. Value 1174 requesting push and start. Value 1174 pushback approved. Expect runway 28. Ground. 28 pushback approved. So this is how you can make even the beginner runway feel like a high Saint tempo uh, value airport. Ready to taxi. Value 1174, continue taxi. Say again. Value 1174, continue taxi. Continue taxi value 1174. It is really distracting trying to talk to you guys whilst listening to these guys. It's <laughs> throwing me quite considerably, I have to say. Leslie, 674, clear, what, runway 28, clear to take off. That was totally wrong. Leslie, 674, runway 28, clear to take off. Runway 28, cleared for takeoff, Leslie, 674. Field air 212, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal field air 212. Value 1174, runway 28, clear to take off. Negative. Value what? 1174. Why? St. Thomas Tower, field air 1612, requesting push and start. Leslie 674, contact departure. St. Thomas Tower. Let's try this again. Denali now. 818 requesting push and start. Roger. So, so slow. Good day. Value 1174, runway 28, cleared for takeoff. Runway 28 cleared for takeoff, value 1174. <clears throat> Not sure what the issue there was. Field air 1612, pushback approved, expect runway 28. Ground. 28 pushback approved. Field air 1612. Denali 1 Denali 818. Oh, St. Thomas ground. Field air 1612. Gosh, they speak so slowly. Field air 1612 continue taxi. Say again. Oh man. Denali 818 pushback approved. Expect runway 28. Tower. 28 pushback approved. Denali 818. Value 1174, contact departure. Roger, good day. Field air 1612, continue taxi. Continue taxi field air 1612. What happened with the Denali air there? Denali 818. Pushback approved. Expect runway 28. Tower 28 pushback approved. I think Denali having them speak as slowly as this is a real, St. real Thomas problem. Tower. Field Air 4806 with you runway 28. St. Thomas Tower. Denali 818 so ready bad. to taxi. Denali 818 continue taxi. Continue taxi Denali 818. Field air 1612, runway 28 cleared for takeoff. Runway 28 cleared for takeoff, field air 1612. Field air 4806, runway 28 cleared to land. Runway 28 cleared to land, field air 4806. Denali 818. Runway 28, line up and wait behind next landing aircraft. St. Thomas Tower, 761 Fox Tango with you, runway 28. Runway 28, line up and wait behind next landing aircraft, Denali 818. Field air 1612, contact departure. Roger, good day. St. Thomas Tower, 948 Romeo Romeo with you, runway 28. 761 Foxtot Tango, runway 28, clear to land. 
Runway 28 cleared to land 761 Fox Tango. Phil Dare 4806 taxi to terminal. Wow, got that wrong. Field Air 4806, taxi to terminal. God damn it. St. Thomas Tower. God damn it, we got a problem. Fox Tango with Big problem. Denali 818, cleared for takeoff, runway 28. Negative. Oh, we got a problem. Denali 818. 761 Foxtrot Tango, go around, go around. Go around 761 Fox Tango. 948 Romeo Romeo, go around, go around. Go around 948 Romeo Romeo. Denali 818, runway 28, clear for takeoff. Runway 28 cleared for takeoff, Denali 818. Field Air 4806, taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal, Field Air 4806. 842, Foxtrot Tango, runway 28, clear to land. Runway 28, cleared to land, 842, Fox Tango. So guys, that is the first ever, um, the first ever go around I've had to call on this game. I'm not entirely sure if they're actually going to go around or just continue flying. Oh my goodness. Um, Denali 818, contact departure. Roger. Good day. So yeah, like I said, I don't know if these guys are actually going to go around or what they're going to do, but... Um, Hopefully they'll they'll come around. I don't know. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. 842 Fox Trot Tango. Taxi to terminal. Taxi to terminal 842 Fox Tango. So I'm gonna Ah, uh, see look. 948 Romeo Romeo. Runway 28 clear to land. Negative. 948 Romeo Romeo. Okay, so when I sent those aircraft to go around, it seems that there's probably something else I should be doing at that point. I don't know what that is. But uh, like I say, as I produce more videos, they will become more complex. And obviously that's something for me to figure out. One last thing before I go, guys. Somebody asked me last week in the uh, comments section for my original review, how do you quit out of the game? And the way you quit out of the game is to press F12. F12 also brings up your session stats, and you can see that despite having quite a successful day, I got um, up a minus 1,000 points for not dealing with that aircraft that I sent to do a go-around, or both aircraft. So it was minus 500 points for each aircraft. So I end up with minus 780 points for that session. Now, this game is incredibly demanding in terms of uh, taking away points. To gain points, I mean, there was an hour's worth of gameplay there, and I earned 210 points, and that was it. Um, and in just two go-arounds, uh, I lost five... 500 points for each aircraft, 1,000 points in total, which rams me down in a minus 780 points situation, which looks terrible. But having watched that entire gameplay, you can see that it, all it was was, um, well, we were running at four times speed and uh, voice recognition didn't come in as it should do. I wasn't clear enough on what I was trying to say. I did panic a tad and, um, you know, it could have been dealt with better. But at the end of the day, we didn't have any crashes, and uh, that's just how severe this game is, which is a good thing, I go, I guess, technically, because if you're going to be an ATC operative, you, you cannot make mistakes like I did today. That would be catastrophic. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves. Until next time.